They came from outer space. We have a new exhibit here for a meteorite collection, over 100 specimens. And they landed at the University of Louisville's Rao Planetarium. We've got samples from the moon, samples from Mars, and even samples that have led to some scientific discoveries of how meteorites composition is formed. One of our samples is from 1977 that landed in Louisville, Kentucky. And the rest of the world is well represented in this meteorite exhibit as well. Like this one that crashed in an English farmer's field in the 1800s. And that was one of the early meteorites that was actually composition studied and finding out that scientifically this could not have been from Earth. So where did they come from other than space? A local Louisvillian, Bill Russell, William Russell, was a collector for his entire lifetime. He came to us about a year and a half ago, he and his wife, Mary Ann Russell, to explore how he might make the do donation for the meteorite collection so that we can put it on display for the public. They're from the early solar system four and a half billion years ago. For the Assumption High School students who are visiting the planetarium, it's a chance to learn the difference between asteroids, meteors, and meteorites. From a science standpoint, the meteorites are really frozen messengers across time. They come to us from the early solar system, largely unchanged, so they're older than anything on Earth. There's a lot of thumb-like depressions in them, which are a little bit interesting to kind of explore why, and we think, scientists think that's from the hot air vortices during its entry through the atmosphere. So the hot air is twirling around and carving out these little thumb-like indentations in these meteorites, and you can actually touch them. And the fact that they can touch something that came from space, I think is probably the coolest thing. That's what I was excited about, is to get here and actually touch something that came from space. And I think they are, that's what they're all getting out of it. And meteorites aren't the only pieces of cosmic rock on display. There's a piece of the moon that was like this big, and it looked kind of like granite. And I don't know, I just never thought the moon would look like that at all, but it does, I guess. The Libyan desert glass, I thought it was neat how the the pressure that like if it impacting that how the sand turned just into glass and I think it was neat to see how it just like something sand can turn into like glass and it was really really beautiful.